Good morning guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry and this morning we're going to show you how to butcher a quail. I had a uh, couple males that were fighting and uh, one of them got the best of them and uh, I decided instead of just putting them down I'd go ahead and butcher them and uh, show you guys how the, the process is done. Um, in this video I am going to show you how I kill the bird and if you can't stomach that kind of stuff or you don't like it just turn off the channel or turn your head until we're done and then we'll get into the butchering process so let me grab this mail <clears throat> okay i don't know if you can see it too well but down on the neck looks like you've got uh pecked at quite a bit so we're just going to go ahead and butcher him and put him in the freezer. <clears throat> All I use is a pair of scissors. Uh, these are Cutco scissors. They are amazing for this kind of work. Um, supposedly you could cut a 16 penny nail in half of this thing and it will not dull the blade. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the head off the bird and then we will remove the, the wings and the uh, legs or the feet and then uh, cl uh, clean out the entrails from there. So okay we'll start by taking the bird off and just real quick snip. He's gone. We'll let him bleed out just for a second. And you're gonna feel a little bit of shaking here and there. That's just nerves so there's nothing to worry about on that. Okay, the first thing I do is remove the wings. <clears throat> then I turn them around and I clip the feet off right at the knuckle. Knee joint, whatever it is. <clears throat> okay, once that's done, I turn the bird around and right at the neck, I just grab the skin and kind of split it. It splits very easy. And you can see that and I bring it all the way down to the legs I'll turn it around again and get the legs popped out <clears throat> and then just come back up to the top and work your way around now when you get towards the back uh, the skin's going to want to stick a little bit, but it's no big deal. Just pop it off, pull the feathers out. You might have a little bit of skin left on there, which is fine. Um, then you can see we're stuck with the cloaca on the bird. First thing I usually do is I'll just cut that right off. Okay, and while you got the bird like this, the neck towards you back up take your shears and go down one side of the spine and same on the other side <clears throat> and then you should be able to grab the spine I'll just stick my thumb in there don't know how well you can see it and kind of take all the entrails with it And then you'll have the lungs, these two bright red things on each side. Those are the lungs. Just put a fingernail under it, they'll pop right out. A lot of times they'll, they'll come out when I, when I grab the, uh, all the other entrails. They'll kind of follow along with them. But that's pretty much it. You've got the uh, chest cavity area peeled out. Um, the fat I like to leave on. I don't, some people pull that fat off. I leave it on because it just adds to the flavor when you're cooking it, especially if you're barbecuing it. Okay, so that's all there is to it. We'll get them inside. We'll wash them up, bag them, and put them in the freezer. Uh, the entrails we'll dump on the uh, compost pile, bury it down a little bit, and uh, the black soldier fly larva will have this gone by the end of the day. So I hope you found that interesting. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and you'll be notified of any more upcoming videos. I appreciate it guys. Have a good day.